Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your own Dr. Didi Swai, professor, motivational speaker, and a leadership coach. On 22nd May 2020, I was extremely emotional to see a 102-year-old multinational brand from US, the world's number one car rental company, Hurge, filed for bankruptcy protection under Chapter 11 at US. Alian, the billionaire investor at Hurge, who was holding 39% stake, sold all his 55 million shares with 72 cents per share with a loss of 1.8 billion US dollars on 26th May 2020. After this news, the stock market responded quite negatively when the share price of Hurge plummeted by 20% which reached $1.04 per share. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what went wrong for the company Hurge? Is it become a victim of the pandemic COVID-19? Or something else has prompted this company to go for bankruptcy protection file on 22nd May 2020? What's your take, ladies and gentlemen? Please go to the comment section and share your comment. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be going to handle this case through three parts. The first part, we'll talk about the background of the company. The second part, we'll talk about what went wrong. The third part, which is very important, we'll talk about what is the learning out of this case for all of us. Let's go to the first part, which talks about the background of Hirsch, the 102-year-old brand, world's largest car rental company and the US multinational was founded by Walter Jacobs in Chicago, Illinois, US. Now, the company is headquartered in Florida with 38,000 employees and the revenue of the company reached 9.5 billion US dollars in 2018. Let's go to the second part and see what went wrong with the company Hurge. The number one reason why they are facing tremendous difficulty is because of huge debt. The company is sitting on 19 billion US dollar debt. The second reason why the company is struggling is their own arrogance inertia as world's number one car rental company. The third reason they are struggling is the inability to see the changes that is happening in the industry. The fourth reason why Hurge is struggling is the lack of speed to adapt into new business model looking at the environmental changes. For example, the emergence of Uber has created a lot of problem for this car rental company. The fifth reason is the pandemic COVID-19 has created absolute minus demand for this company. And right now the company is having 7 lakh vehicles which is stranded literally. The sixth issue lies with the leadership issue. Since 2014, Harge has changed four CEOs. Now, the seventh reason why Harge is struggling right now lies in the fact since four consecutive years, the company is suffering losses. And in 2019, they have reached 58 million US dollar loss. Because of these losses, they have gone for a mass layoff by asking 12,000 employees to go out of the company's payroll and another additional 4,000 employees to be under four log scheme. But what is very interesting for me is to see Hurge paid 16.2 million US dollars to its senior executives on 19th May before they have filed for bankruptcy protection under Chapter 11 at US. They have paid 16.2 million US dollars to the senior executives as a part of retention program. Now let's go to the third part of the case, which is very important for all of us. What is the learning from this case? Now the first learning is every company need to have a great corporate governance plan in place. Otherwise, you'll be going to struggle even if you are the world number one and the biggest multinational car rental company like Hurge, which is a 102 year old brand sitting with 9.5 billion US dollar revenue in 2018. Corporate governance is basically based on four pillars, transparency, accountability, leadership, and taking care of your stakeholders' interest. Now, in this particular case, there is a huge issue with the leadership. Since 2014, Hurge has changed 
four shios in the process. The second learning for all the companies, specifically in the post COVID-19 era, is to have contingency plan in place to face the uncontrollable and unforeseen scenarios and situations. If you're not ready with contingency plan, then you'll be going to have mass layoff and chaos in the company, which is not at all good for you as a company and the employees and the society as well. Now, the third learning is for the employees. Employees need to be very, very careful when they are working for companies in today's time. Employees should not commit their resources to fixed asset acquisition by taking huge loans from banks because you never know tomorrow what will happen in the market. So you need to be very, very careful in managing your family and your professional life. The fourth learning for the company and for all the businesses, specifically post COVID-19 era, that you need to have a very, very agile business model, very, very flexible business model, and you need to smell the change which is coming and quickly adopting your business model into the change. For example, what happened with the Herj, 102 year old US multinational, the largest, rather the number one car rental company in the world, they have not been able to identify the problem they will be going to face from the latest models like uh, Uber and they stick to their arrogance of world number one and they have faced tremendous difficulty and whatever was left has been totally gone because of the pandemic COVID-19. It act as adding salt into the injury. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this case study analysis might have given you a lot of insights to understand what went wrong with the number one car rental company in the world, the US multinational Harj. If you like the analysis, please share the video with your near and dear ones. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive very, very interesting case studies in times to come. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.